Hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. My name is Carrie Waltz and I share tips, tools, and techniques for the artist in you. I've been away for about three months and I'm going to share with you what I've been doing. Plus at the end, it's going to give you a technique on how to unwind and give your mind a rest. So the beginning of this video is going to tell you what I've been up to. If you're not interested in that, just skip to the end and see that drawing activity that really helped me shift from my right brain to my left. So, I've been gone for three months, and I spent the first part of it with my mom in Texas and helped her after surgery, and all is well there. I'm really happy that she's doing as well as she is. You know, usually in January, we stop and we think and go, hmm, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> is, is there something I want to change? And I reevaluated some of the things that I'm doing and decided to prioritize volunteering as one of the things I want to do more of. I have two charities and local nonprofits that I'm going to be spending more time with. One is the um, Middle Georgia Rescue Mission and the other one is Rooms from the Heart. I just finished a project working with Rooms from the Heart and it was so much fun. My Houston Church small group helped me as my work team. They were phenomenal and my daughter Kelsey helped as the designer. I was the project manager for that project and we just finished last week. Rooms from the Heart is a nonprofit organization that finds children who are facing life-threatening illnesses and we redecorate, remodel their bedroom. So I will add just a little bitty link in the back uh, of this or down below in this video so you can see just a, a hint of that or I'll try to share the Facebook pay, post that I made so so you can see that little bit of information but I'm glad to be back and I hope to be back on a more regular basis it might not be weekly but I just had to shift some things in my life and sometimes you just have to do that so if you're not helping someone in your community go find a volunteer group a nonprofit, and, and give them some support so this was just an opportunity to do that and I really enjoyed it the next thing I want to share with you is a learning opportunity for Wild Acres. I'm going to teach there one week this summer. It will be the last week in July, and I hope that the catalog for the classes will be out today, but registration doesn't start till March 17th. I'm going to be teaching nature journaling with gouache and watercolor, and I think there's only 14 spaces in that class. So I will include a link to Carson, who is the director for that project, and if you want to be on the mailing list and get a catalog then you can send her your email so I'll end this with thank you for joining me and for those of you who missed me I really appreciate you reaching out and making sure I'm okay all is well I just had to take a break and it was a beneficial break for me and and I was able to do something for somebody else so go out and do that for yourself and it's just very very heartwarming and it's worth your time so happy creating and I hope you enjoy the activity at the end where you rest your mind. Today I'm trying to get just a little art therapy while I'm away in Texas and I haven't drawn or painted in a week. If I'm creating art, I'm looking at spatial, visual, uh, relationships and direction. And when my brain shifts to that side, I can't be thinking of all the to-do things that need to be done. It gives my brain a mental rest. What I'm going to show you is going to help you shift your mind from the left side. Left side is logic. Left side, okay, here, here's your brain. I'll just tell you, here's your, not there. Here's your brain. Your left side is logic, language. Um, there's so many things that, you know, it's like my to-do list, to-do list, what I, uh, organizing, words, all this kind of stuff is my logic language side. It's uh, past to me, past experiences, it's like, okay, I'm thinking, I'm worrying about this or that, I'm planning for the future, uh, you know, ideally this might not all be accurate, but this is how I'm feeling right now. My, my left side, my brain won't rest. So my right side, my right side of my brain is my spatial visual side. Um, so if I take a break and do some spatial visual things, it will put me in a better mindset. Point-to-point -point contour means I'm looking here and I'm looking here. Point-to-point -point means I'm going to stop along the way from one point to the next. Okay. Where I start, I'm looking at, what is this? It's an angle line that goes up to the right. Angle line that goes up to the right. There's an intersection. 
Okay, what's next? I'm looking from here to here. There's a curve. I'm just looking, it goes up, bends, and up again. Curves that go angles up and then curves and up again. I stop. It's, I don't see the point point on that one because of the way it's angled at me. So I'm turning down. That I'm comparing how far down because I can look over here. I could have could have made that a little wider. Bend and up. I'm looking also at the space between these two. Spatial visual. Curve up. What is the shape? It curves a little curve and then up. A little curve and then up. What does it do? It comes down, curves out just a little bit, comes down and bends. And, and from my vantage point, that's almost straight up. So I'm looking at it. It comes out, down, bends almost straight up. And it goes a little further visually than this one. It's a little further up. It goes out. If you're not sure the angle, you can look at the angle with your pen or pencil. See, it's like that. And you can visualize where it is. Sometimes I even do think lines, like with my finger. It's like, okay, that comes down and out, comes down and out. I can almost visually see on my paper what it does. But you look from one point to the next. Now I'm at this point. It's going to curve and go to that point. It's a short line. From here, curves and comes out. Notice I'm saying curved, straight line, angle. These are all elements of shape. Curve and straight line. I'm going to, I'll go over those in just a minute. Okay, now I'm here. So because I'm going to point to point, observing, I'm also paying attention to the distance between here and here. I could have drawn a um, line, that'd be a line of symmetry. Leaves are somewhat symmetrical, but they're not exact. Uh, there's so many, so many differences, but it gives you a point of reference. So I was getting a little skinny up here, so I want to see that this side of the leaf is fatter than this side of the leaf. It's not necessarily equal, but that gives you something to look for. There was a little point on that one. Comes out, up. If I want to show where this comes in to give me something to aim at, I can put a little dot here. So it goes up, out, and in. Then where does this go? It goes out, but if I turn and look at it, that's almost a 90 degree angle. The way I'm looking at it right now, it angles down. But when I change the angle that I look at it, See, that corner is almost 90 degrees. So be looking for things like that. And um, that was a little sharp, but that's okay. But it's, it's angling down on my drawing. That's fine. Curves in and out. Uh, that was already on the paper, so just ignore that. Oops, I came out too far. It's okay. It's a sketch. And this comes out further. This point comes out further than that point, but not as far as that one. So, look at things that you can compare. Comes in, back down, and then back. Okay, if I want to show the shadow, now that I have that, I would get that with a pencil. You can come in under here, and it's going to follow very similar uh, shapes. But I can fill this in. I'm just going to fill this in with, instead of an outline, I'm just shading in where the shadow is. The point on my picture, the, from my vantage point, it comes out here. There's a little bit. That point right there is the shadow right here. And then my shadow runs into the point of this leaf. I see a little bit here. A tiny bit here. I don't see any, Oh, I see a little bit of that tip there. There's some under here. Going to that point. Here, it's up in the air a little bit more. So. Oh, I can, it comes all the way back to here. 
and this one comes out here and down from the vantage point that you have from from the phone it might be a little different but this is a great way to just pick up an object it doesn't matter what it is the elements of shape it's circles ovals straight lines curved lines angled lines and the circles can be uh, even and goes down to ellipse so sorry i keep shaking up oh sorry every drawing is made up of these things so you look for a curve line now don't call this don't, don't name it i'm don't think about it i mean i talk about leaves and veins but when i was drawing I was straight line, angle line, it comes up, it bends, it curves. It's what shape it is. And these are some of your basic elements of shape. Here's a little clip of our finished room from Rooms for the Heart Project. Thank you, Kelsey, for being the design person here and see the family's reaction. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Look. Gracie, look at this room. <laughs>